Welcome Wastelanders, I'm Ian Higton and this is Fallout Friday, your weekly roundup of news and theories all about Fallout. Now, as you can see, I'm in the middle of the NEC for this year's EGX, but that doesn't mean I haven't got an awesome show lined up for you guys. So without further ado, coming up this week... Rest in peace, Colin. Todd Howard confirms you cannot rename Dogmeat, the cruel b****. We take a look at Fallout 4's theme played on the piano, the accordion, and the ocarina. Sort of. And finally, I've raided Bethesda's EGX swag bag and managed to grab some cool goodies to give away to a few lucky viewers. Hurrah! Oh, and Bethesda also released this video about the Endurance special, but it doesn't give any new info. Oh Colin, my wonderful four-legged friend. How I dreamt of our adventures in the wasteland. Skipping through the rubble, terrorising raiders and dismembering mutants without a care in the world. Thanks to Todd Howard though, those dreams are no more, after he confirmed in a video entitled Dog Meat and Other Companions that you cannot rename the dog. Previously we had thought that renaming the dog was a possibility, due to the fact that in some sections of the E3 gameplay he is simply called Dog, while in others he was called Dog Meat. But as Todd is about to explain, that's all part of the story. Is it Dog Meat? It is Dog Meat. It is um, Dog Meat. Okay. You'll see his name on the screen as Dog until someone tells you his name, then it changes. Okay, that's it and then the player, all the player commands, he will then call him Dog. He will then call him Dog Meat. But so, it, it is Dog Meat. One piece of good news coming from all this, though, is that Dog Meat, along with the rest of your potential companions like Codsworth, Preston Garvey, and Piper, can never die. So at least that means you won't see me crying like a little baby on a future Fallout 4 live stream. Can Dog Meat die? He cannot die. He can get uh, really hurt, so he'll go down and be incapacitated during a fight, and you can run over and jam a stim pack in him, and then he'll get up. So we kind of find like the dog dying is a, it's a reload scenario for, no one plays the game that dog dies, they go, fuck it, I'll just keep playing. And right. so, you know, we wanted to make him, when he's your, your follower, your actual companion in the game, right. there's a number of them, not just the dog. Uh, they can't be killed in that, in that state. Enon Zur may sound like the name of a shady merchant from Destiny, but in fact this name belongs to the multi-award winning composer of Fallout 4's musical score. Bethesda released a video this week of Enon playing the Fallout 4 theme on his piano, in his rather fancy house. I guess composing the music for all the Fallout games since Fallout Tactics has paid off rather well for him. There's a detailed chat with Mr. Zur over on Bethesda.net, where amongst other things he talks about how he cruelly exploits his piano by hitting and biting the strings. Because I don't know. It's not just Enon who's been sharing his creative juices with the internet though, YouTuber Jackson Parody has also filmed himself playing the theme from Fallout 4, but instead of a piano, Jackson has chosen to use an accordion. Holding his instrument in both hands while rhythmically pumping away, he's managed to produce a spectacular cover which deserves to be listened to in full. I've linked to both videos in the description below so you can do just that. Anyway, all this musical nonsense has inspired me to cover the Fallout 4 theme for myself, this time on an ocarina. Take it away, me. Okay, so I'm here with Bethesda's UK community manager, Sarah Wallach. Hi! She has kindly um, offered to give us some prizes uh, that I can give away to you guys uh, in a competition. So, Sarah, what, what can I steal from your bag well, of swag? You can use your perception to steal some of our lovely, not use of bank robbery masks. They don't look creepy at all. I cannot comment on that, but these are our ball boy masks, which look like this. Excellent. Wow. 
What a friendly face. I know, and we also have these awesome Vault Boy t-shirts that we will give you guys to give away. Excellent. Awesome. Size medium? And large. And large. We'll give you a mix. We'll awesome. cover everyone. So maybe put medium your, or large. Maybe put your t-shirt size in yeah, your, be ideal. your entry. Yeah, that'll be ideal. But the masks fit everyone. That's the key thing. Awesome. Well, thank you very much no for uh, giving us this swag. Uh, stay tuned and I'll show you all how you can win it in a second. Bye. So if you fancy a chance of winning those wonderful goodies, just answer this simple question. What breed of dog is Colin... I mean dog meat modelled after. What breed of dog is dog meat modelled after? Send your answers via direct message to Eurogamer and I'll pick and announce the winners next episode. Good luck and see you there. Oh, don't worry boy. You'll always be Colin to me. Come on boy, let's go hunt some rad roaches.